GIS is an acronym for Geographical Information System that is used to describe and characterize the Earth and other geographies for the purpose of visualizing and analyzing specially referenced information. My name is Ramadan Saidi. I work for Tanzania People and Wildlife, which is the sister organization of African People and Wildlife as a GIS specialist. In my duties, I create and collect data, dispersions for different purposes, which sometimes might involve me communicating with people who have data that I need. I train and make sure that data are collected properly following protocols by field officers, such as community game scouts, drivers, range and monitors, human wildlife conflict and program officers. Before, the organization first collect data with a system that was prone to human error, but ever since we started using ArcGIS online system, data collection and analysis have been really easier, making the workflow short, getting real-time data, and minimizing human error. This has also simplified the access to data and reports anywhere. As an organization, we are using Survey123 and ArcGIS F data collecting apps in all our programs. In Women Be Keeping Initiative, we use GPS to mark the location of the trees where the beehives are hanged. This helps us to create an area of influence around the trees and see how the community lands that are shared with wildlife are impacted, hence the restoration of habitats. In the youth education program, students from secondary schools, they use GS in citizen science projects to collect data for their researchers. Also, range and monitors in sustainable range and initiative, same with HWC assistants and wildlife warriors. They use Survey 13 when collecting data. We also use ArcGIS F to track drivers, community game scouts, and human wildlife conflict assistance movements while in patrol and when reaching out to villages they supervise. This helped our organization, African People and Wildlife, to be acknowledged by ESRI with a special achievement in JS Award in 2020. With the use of JS technology, it's easy to understand the resources we are protecting and we can effectively allocate manpower and conservation efforts to precise areas by identifying the problem hotspot and also species distribution in that area. Good night,